This is our huge dog, 2.67 kilos. Oh so it's really big. And uh, its production date is July. So, you know, it's pretty old. It's pretty much just how things are here. It's not a fresh, it's a frozen duck thought. But um, we pay good money for that. Yes. And I hope it's okay. I hope. And it's a free range duck. It had a really good life until it ended up in wrapping plastic. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like here they just don't care much about frozen. I say frozen means just fresh forever. But ideally, you want a fresh, freshly slaughtered, uh, freshly killed duck. That would taste better than any, you know, frozen duck. But that's just kind of the best stuff I can get here. Uh, give it it looks a, like the neck is in it, poking out there. Right? I don't know. We'll see. I'll give it a quick wash. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick uh, marinade. It's mostly just the uh, alcohol because I don't know how the duck is killed and all that. I'm afraid it will still have a lot of this. That gaming aroma? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, alcohol, cooking alcohol, a little bit of the citron pepper, not for the, you know, spicy, non-spice flavor, but just to... Aroma mitigation. Right, to kill that uh, aroma. Yeah. And I think I'm too cheap, but I'm gonna put the duck in first. Then and then throw more ginger. You give them a little rub. Yeah, what a big dog. Another bad thing about big dog is it's just too big. Finding the this right size the pan and bowl and everything. Biggest the size pan I have. Well, since it doesn't reach, I'm gonna don't be cheap. Give him a little alcohol bath. Ideally, it goes in somehow. Yeah. And rub that all around. Armpits. Gross. The hair, the hair, the feathers are a lot on, so we have to handle that tomorrow. And uh, really smooth. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let it sit overnight. Oh, this is not as abusive as it looks. What? I'm explaining that this is not, this duck is not being harmed in any way, even though there's a chopstick stuck in it. It looks pretty violent. Everything's fine. Okay, we'll see. Shit. Okay, I'm being. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Do you have a mouth rinsing plan after? You might want to have right, a plan. Six, six, okay, six. great, great. Okay, okay. Oh. Just so people know, the butt is here, so she's not kissing the butt, which is kissing weird. You're supposed stuff. to do that from the and butt. And I know this is the authentic way, quote unquote, was the hole underneath the armpit, which is a super thin skin. I don't know how old times people do that with the mouth, but I'm telling you, this is hard. Okay, okay, I'm going. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Think seal, you gotta have a good seal. seal. Oh my god, it worked! Oh my god, it worked! Blow, blow, it's really working! He's really inflating. Ah! You did a great job! It turns out I don't have a way to seal it. So if you're doing this, make sure you have a way to trap the air in the dog before you blow it. So I kind of a wasted. Ideally, what I they did. didn't chop his head off, right? Yeah, this this kind of chop is like I don't know. I don't know how to seal it. Like I cannot tie it. I, I don't know. Like 
you gotta just uh, if you wanna try to think that through. I just wasted my blow. The only thing I noticed, I can blow a duck. That's yeah. I, I don't think it's wasted. I think it still will help the skin be a little bit crispier because it's at least the tissue's broken. Yeah. But, uh, you're right. I'm just trying to Anyways, make it feel better. Anyways, thank you. Uh, now I'm gonna boil some boiling water and give it a a bath. Now I'm gonna wash that. Which side up? This is the back. This is the top side. I should do this side first. Hang on, Mike. Is it? Let or do fo- that side first. I really don't know. Okay. okay. I had some focus problems. I'm good now. Okay. It was locked. Now I unlocked. This it. is the chest. This is the chest. Yeah, the breast. The uh, yeah, the breast, the prime spot. Okay, okay, okay. Pretending I know what I'm doing. Okay. See, we got a nice setup here in the sink with a little rack, yeah. and we got a big pot of boiling water. Okay. Okay. If I gotta rotate, Whoop. I'm going to rotate it. Grab him by the leg, flip yeah. him over. Nice. Whoa! Ooh! Did you see how it becomes so tight? No. I think you missed that. Ew. The camera caught everything. Okay, okay. Sorry about the air. Air? I mean the steam. How much we can do about physics. Right. So the texture of the skin already changed. You don't want to break. Oh, yeah. I can it's visually see it too. It's much it slicker up. now. Yes. Looks more like a pig now. <laughs> pig says, I'm I gonna don't switch agree. Sides. I'm going to switch sides. I'm on the really, really wrong side. Push that out of the way, the cutting board. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. Oh boy, that's so shiny. Right? Feels like I'm gonna do it again. Feel like the skate is not tight enough somehow. Okay. Okay. So we're back. Hang on, I locked it by accident. Let me unlock that. Mm. All right, we're back yeah. for round two of the. Uh... Those white are the first that I locked during. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, give him a little flippity flip. Quack, quack. If it seems like a lot of work, you know, it's definitely worth it. Well, we'll let you know in the final bite shots. You gotta cut the wings. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna, while it's hot, get more fur. More of the feathers out? Yeah, a little bit more. This is a really small thing. I don't wanna have straws. Get a little bit and uh, I'm gonna. Zoom in and show them all the feathers. It's a little bit scary. It kind of reminds you that it was a duck when you see the feathers. Really? Which, Which I guess we know, but would rather forget it was like a cute little feathered quacker. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put that stand up. Now you will have a really funny thing to see, okay? Stand up. So voila, this is a, a paper towel. Paper towel. Repurposed to a duck stand. And not yep. the kind you hunt from. A duck standing up tool. Prop? A duck prop? Oops, try and get you shaking the duck. I'll pull that out of the way for you. Okay. Can I bring that into the center? That might be yeah, Sorry about the camera work. I'm trying to be helpful okay. and hygienic. Ooh. Oh, that's really perfect. You're gonna put the chopsticks under his wings? No, I think his wings is naturally open. Oh yeah, no, no, this spot. Okay. How do we make sure it opens like that? Where's your big chopstick? Big? Small? Chop, top drawer. For this work? Get the cooking, well, um, I think it's too short. You think? A lot, yeah. I'm not sure, try it out. Oh. Oh gosh, you're really good. Look at that guy. He looks, <laughs> he looks somewhat majestic. <laughs> So one majestic. <laughs> okay. Quack, quack. 
I wish I put it. Now I'm gonna find a fan and blow at it to help it dry faster. Mmm. Okay. The duck is pretty dry. You can feel the crispy, uh, the skin crispy up and mm, there's a oil. And I'm gonna glaze it. Use uh, honey. If you have lactose, the grain. Fructose. I fructose. <laughs> lactose. Uh, that's uh, good. And uh, vinegar. Uh, they ask for specific vinegar, but I don't have it. And my honey is kind of uh, crystallized, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in some water to dilute it. I read a bunch of recipes. So basically, the, the, the people seem to use a mixed uh, ratio. So. My conclusion, ratio doesn't really matter. One to two, one to one, that kind of. Ratio to taste. Yeah. And you can add water to dilute if it's uh, fractals. Same with honey. You can use alcohol if the duck flavor is pretty strong. Since I already kind of blow the duck, I noticed this duck is not very you know the unpleasant part of duck that tastes like pee pee? No? Okay. No, but um, basically... You know, they have that, uh, so basically if, it, if the duck has a bit of an animal stinkiness though, you use a bit yeah. of alcohol, that will help. I mean, it's different than like the fish, right? So you... I don't know what I'm doing. Mix. Do you think that this will be enough for like a three round? Yeah. Yeah, you just paint it on thin, right? You're not. Yeah. Melt, melt. Give it a little microwave. You think? Oh, why not? Okay. Oh, it's melting. Oh, there you go. See? In general, you shouldn't listen to me. <laughs> why not? I, I'm often full of bad advice. I don't really know what I'm doing, so. This is not a how-to recipe, it's a watch how I fail recipe. Not what not to do possibly. I don't know, your duck looks pretty epic. Mm. Sweet and tough. Yeah. They say the vinegar help it crisp up. Helps it what? Crisp up or something, help it dry or something, I, I don't really know. Good enough. This side looks better because it has the best of that. Feathers? Yeah. He looks majestic from both sides. Yeah? Okay. Good size with nothing. Armpit. Important. Gross. But important. Splash. My goal here is not to splash anyone. And then how long do you dry for after this again? Probably another couple of hours. Whoa. Yeah. You need that fully dried. I have the little fan and we have this Canada winter which is really helpful in terms of drying everything. Mm. So I think in an hour, two. Does it remind you of Tibetan dried meat? How they dry their meat too? They just hang it. It's so dry it just dries, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not about dried meat. It's that you don't cook and you just dry them and eat them. That's the part I'm a little bit like. Uh, not really. I don't know, I cannot eat that. Oof. What? I almost got hit. Oh. Am I splashy? No, I think you did a great As job. <laughs> if I did it, there would be a huge mess. You can tell, I have to clean up the kitchen. It does That's look like you me. missed this spot, but probably you didn't. No, just looks, it just Oh, it's just down. a different color. Mm. Yeah, it's a little down. Mm-hmm.
Mm -hmm. Majestic duck. That's a funky duck. <laughs> we can't play the song, but you should Google it and listen to it. We'll get a copyright strike if we play it for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you I think that's one glaze. That's a glaze. I forgot to video that part, but basically you stuck apples and orange, those juicy stuff, or like uh, you put some bread with lots of water. You want the inside to keep the moisture in, so uh, stuff that up. Uh, with fruit, it also give it a little bit of flavor. What are these flavor. extra ones over here? Uh, too much. Couldn't fit them? I couldn't fit them. I thought it's a really huge <laughs> dog. And it, the inside, I think I didn't... It's pretty good. You got a whole orange and 1.5 apples. Uh, oh, no. no one, one apple, apple. One apple, one, one orange. orange. That's my limit. I... Anyways, so there's that for stuffing. He looks pretty good. Okay. Now we put the duck in. On the rack, make sure the oil can drip down. That's the setup. Mm. In terms of baking, I see lots of different uh, temperatures, so I choose to use the 300 for an hour, then 350 for another 40 minutes. Uh, something like that. I will see how it progresses. We forgot. We forgot to put his booties on. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn and don't get poked. Those oh, are the wings are sharp. Right, that's what they hit you with when they're alive. He, <laughs> wa he wasn't good enough. Oh, then just turn on. So anyway, now he's got his little booties on, which help his little tips not burn. Yeah. Hmm. I have to say, picture no real life looks better than a video. What do you think? Yeah, it does, but uh, it looks really Red. good. Okay. First try, okay? First mm -hmm. try, I think mm -hmm. it looks amazing, especially, maybe we can remove the booties. Oh, it's too hot. We just, just took it out of the oven. Better not touch the booties yep. yet. And now I'm gonna make the sauce to go with it. Ready, boss. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna make a little sauce for us using the duck fat. Little oil. That's why we had our double layer set up to catch the duck fat. Mm. Gold. Okay. Literally gold. Gold. And you need a tian mian jiang, sweet bean paste. I'm not gonna put it all. Just gonna put a little bit. And oh, nice. So this is a uh, you know, sweet and salty, sweet and salty sauce. What else have we got here? And I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar, and I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol because the it's a fermented sauce with a little bit of alcohol. It would taste really good. A little bit of hot water and for a little me. bit of hot water for diluting the texture. This much. Right this there. much. Yeah. Uh, you want the dipping sauce to be a little bit sweet. Usually, when you eat that, the skin, there's a, the first serving is the chest skin, which is a pure skin that you dip a little bit of a pure sugar for that. Yeah, just a little bit like a white sugar to have that. Then you have the. The, the rest of the chest and uh, the meat meat with the with the skin which you would dip in this kind of sauce and uh, put with the uh, the big green onion the, it's a special cultivar that is uh, has that green onion flavor but it's also sweet we don't have that and plus I'm I'm not a big fan of it. 
Okay, well, onion straight up, so. Today we're having pure, pure duck. Okay. Those fermented bean paste always need a little oil, stir fry, a little bit of heat to bring up the sound. I put too much oil. I might have been by accident no. put too much oil. Too okay? much water. I could have put a little bit more sauce, but um, ooh, that's good. That's really good. I like this. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll put a little bit more sauce. See, taste and adjust. Taste and adjust. because I don't want to see oil floating. The sauce shouldn't have mm. oil floating there. It takes a while till the sauce and the, uh, the, uh, the oil and the paste to integrate as one sauce. Sauce, more beanie. Yeah. Or beanie. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, now they come together and it feels uh, more like one sauce. Right on. It needs some ratio. Uh, you know, it's like uh, making a dough. Too much of flour, put a little water. Too much of water, put a little mm, yeah. flour. So here that is. I don't want to cook too much because I do like the, the sweet level I put. Come on. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Dipping sauce. Okay. Look at that. Beauty. Next, we slice. It's your job now. Now what? Now I'm gonna try, I watched one video, I'm gonna try and slice it. So I, there's a slice here, which I already did. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm supposed to come across like uh, this, down to that slice, under the skin. Mm -hmm. The knife is supposed to be razor sharp, Yeah. which it pretty much, it's pretty good actually. Oh, and I'm not supposed to get meat, but I'm gonna have. Tr I'm struggling because it's not. Um, we weren't able to really inflate the duck. We don't have a tire pump and or it's something. A crisp, to it. It's not crispy. It's not as crispy as we would like, but it's pretty crispy. Then we do a zipper, a zipper cut here. Mm -hmm. Supposed to just do the skin, mm -hmm. but um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the meat a little bit. We're not pro. <laughs> You know the, what then, you say about the roasting, Beijing roasted duck, 50% is the duck, 50% is the cut. So don't feel bad because this is a pro. Cutting this duck is a pro job. Oh, right, right, yeah. So I think at this point, let's just cut it however we want. No, I'm getting these, I'm doing, I have to okay, at least okay. do the ceremonial beginning cut, which oh, is these okay. three pieces of skin, which I'll then reassemble yeah. later. Keep, keep watching, okay? I'm, I'm pretty happy with my job. I did a pretty good job. You did a great job. I'm not sure the angle to come at this. I need to, uh, I guess like this. Maybe like this. Yeah, yeah, I guess I could do this. They have a special cart they put the duck on at the table in the restaurant to do this in the video I watched. I don't yeah. know in general. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a part of it's the, part of the ceremony, ceremony right? because like you how said. skillful this whole thing is. It not they only show off the cutting, it first show off then the duck. Come over to the board. I'm supposed okay, okay. to go like this. Okay. I'm not holding my knife anymore, but I'm supposed to Oh it's pretty crispy, huh? 
Really? Yeah, that's pretty. Like I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And then you. Put okay, I'm on. gonna try one right now. You're gonna try one right now. What do you think? Yeah. Let's try. That's not the crispiest. Try this one. Oh, total fail. Try this one. Not total fail. Mmm. And it's really delicious. I mean, it's duck fat. You can't really go wrong. This is, I would say, this Oops. is just a roast duck. There's nothing Beijing roasted duck about that. Mm, except it's yummy. Oh, this piece has a little bit. Right? Yeah. Anyway, don't, this is the dish. I have several eat. pieces now. I did not stick to one piece. I have several. <laughs> I think it's done, right? Yeah, let's just cut it however we want. I think I just give up and dip the sauce. So at a certain point, this is really not a at home easy dish. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you. I engaged my little fan to dry the glaze in between. I did three glazes. It took me. I started early in the morning. Now it's uh, eight in the uh, in the evening. evening. So it's a long process, and I also use my hair dryer to dry the glaze in between, which was really hard because my hair dryer has nano, supposed to put water moisture in the hair. So I don't think that works so well with the oh, the process. A bunch of juice. So um, yeah. Oh, sorry. I wasn't on the top. No, 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 go, still, go. I still want to do some nice slices. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, but in terms of a uh, baking duck, baking duck, that's got, a bit. I guess what we got is roast duck. Yeah, it's a roast duck. It's just a roast duck. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy about that either. Okay, declare fail. F. 